Hello, Pisces. I'm going to do a twin flame reading today. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and also comment. If you would like to be entered to win a free personal reading, I give away one every week. Winners are drawn at random and announced on Sunday. To enter that, you're going to want to like, share, subscribe, and comment in the comment section below. Hashtag whatever you want. Put whatever you want there. Tarot, Pisces, love, twin flame. I don't care what you put. All right. Also, I am doing $10 off personal readings. I have updated the description box below with some new information. So check that out. All you need to do is shoot me an email. I do not book through any third-party websites. Um, you have to send me an email. Okay. All right. This is going to be a general reading. It's not going to resonate for everybody, right? Check your um, other placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, what else? Cross Watchers, welcome. Roles can be reversed. So I'm going to put you on one side, your person on the other. Just know that we can get, you know, that flip it around if you need to. It can also be a mix of both energy on both sides. I've seen that a couple times today. All right. So just take it as it resonates. If it's not your story, don't force it. All right, Pisces, my baby fish. Let's get it. Let's get it, Pisces. Okay. Ten of Cups. Contentment and joy is what this deck says. I'm using the Twin Flame Journey Tarot by Mystic Moon Oracles. All right. Sorry, not going to take it that way. We have the Eight of Wands. <laughs> I'm tired today. We have the Four of Cups. We have the Hierophant, card of Taurus. We have the Six of Cups. We have the Five of Wands. And we have the Three of Pentacles. Okay. Other side, we've got the World. We've got the Ace of Cups. We have the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag energy, doesn't have to be. We have the Ace of Wands. We have the Hermit, Virgo energy, doesn't have to be. We have the Ace of Pentacles. All right, with this Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck. All right, let's do it. Four Pisces. Okay. I feel like... Um, on, on one side, we've got, I feel like there's some kind of a situation that needs to be gotten out of, or needs to be moved. You need to move past it. Right. Especially with this four of cups, because you're feeling that there was a missed opportunity with your person. Okay. There could certainly be, um, a connection here, but this person is wanting to get back to their person. They're just not sure how to do it. And it's causing some conflict. Okay. This side, it looks like what we've got going on is somebody is closing out a cycle, right? Successful completion of a karmic cycle, learning lessons, leveling up. And the availability for this relationship is here with this Ace of Cups. You could be dealing with a fire sign. We'll, we'll clarify and see what that is. But you're, you're, you know, there's a the opportunity for a new passionate beginning, a new beginning in love, right? This person has maybe even gone through... Um, a lot of soul searching, right? A lot of changes, gotten a lot of clarity about some things. But here we have another ace. We've got three aces right here. Cups, wands, pentacles, okay? All right, so let's see what we got. What is this eight of wands for Pisces? The card says energy surge and communication, okay? So eight of wands. What is this about for Pisces? Ace of cups. They really want, um, this person wants a new beginning. Okay. Just like this person, this person, um, I feel like is working towards that, whether they know it or not, whether this is your person or this is you, it doesn't make any difference. The seven of wands, they are struggling to move forward. They're fighting their way out of something so they can get to this four of wands or I'm sorry, four of wands, ace of cups, good gravy. Yeah. Um, four of cups, there's been a missed opportunity with their person and they're working on it. Okay. They are working on it. They may have, you know, took a different path, had to go down it for whatever reasons, right? The hanged man, there you are. Um, 
seeing things from a different perspective, but also letting some things go, surrendering to the universe. And, and this has caused a delay, but whatever you're surrendering, whatever you're seeing differently, whatever this perspective is, you're letting go of something that you need to let go of. Could be a relationship. It doesn't have to be, okay? Uh, queen of Pentacles. You may be letting go of a Queen of Pentacles. Somebody you've been in a relationship with for a long time, Pisces, or your person has, okay? Here we have this Hierophant. What is this Hierophant? What's this all about, for Pisces? Wanting a new beginning. Certainly wanting to be in a in a you know in a in a relationship with your person, but there's something you have to break free of so that you can have this new start. Judgment. Making a decision to reconcile. Making a decision to revisit a, a, a relationship. Um, judgment certainly could be, um, you know, making a big decision to leave someone or something in the past in order to have the Six of Cups. So here we have the Six of Cups. Yeah, the sun wanting to reunite with your person. Could be a Leo. I mean, we've got the king of wands here, but we've got other signs too. So, but this person is your, this reconciliation is your ultimate happiness. It's your truth. King of wands energy. This person here is your, is your ultimate happiness, your truth, whether they are a fire sign or not, they are, you see them as beautiful, um, magnetic, charming, you know, they, people take notice of them. They turn heads, right? All right. So five of wands, we've got, you know, you're trying to deal with this, this conflict, whatever this is, the ace of pentacles, trying to get out of this, trying, trying for a win, right. To get to this ace of pentacles. Um, we've got multiple aces on the board. Okay. Six of Wands, wanting a victory in this conflict, in this competition, in this drama, so that you can have a new beginning, so that you can reconcile with this Three of Pentacles with your person, okay? Yeah. Um, you may not be talking to your person. They're also, honestly, there could be um, some secrets going on here, right? Um, especially if you're trying to end a situation or a relationship, okay, that's, we're dealing with three people. So there may very well be some secrets, but I do think you're not talking to your person right now. That's, that's certainly what I think. And high priestess is a card of Pisces. So this could be you, right? Five of pentacles, feeling a loss without your person, feeling regret, feeling alone, missing them. But I don't think there's any communication, certainly, with the high priestess and the five of pentacles. So here we have this other this other side. We have cycle completion. This person has successfully completed a cycle, right? Five of wands. They've fought their way through through something too. What whatever it was. A relationship, just challenges, obstacles, drama, resistance, right? Because they have a soulmate, they, they've made a choice to fight through this for this relationship, even if they don't know that that's what they're fighting for. So here we have, they, they want this Ace of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles, right? They want it all. They want it all. And the energy there is, to, I mean, it's there. It's there to have it, right? The Six of Pentacles. There has to be some kind of balance, though. That's kind of the justice card in the minor in the minor arcana, right? So here we have this King of Wands, right? It's very magnetic, charming, good-looking, attractive individual. Ten of Cups. They are your Ten of Cups, Pisces, and they want the Ten of Cups with you. The Seven of Cups. They may be confused especially if you're not talking to them or you're in another relationship or both, right? They don't want to be an option. Seven of Cups talks about options, multiple choices, in you know, indecision. That's not what they want. They don't want the Ten of Cups with you. 
they have passion for you and there is opportunity for new beginnings. We see that over and over with these aces. The ace of wands, the nine of swords, they have all of this passion for you and they have this opportunity and they just feel so restless, right? They're in their head. They're not sleeping. They're thinking about it all the time. Anxiety, worry, fear. Yeah, because their wish is to have their person. Nine of cups, can't get to the 10 until you get to the nine, right? And we've already seen they want this 10 of cups with you. They don't want to be an option. They want to be your person. So here we have this hermit. And this, this could be vice versa, guys. Okay, so take it as it resonates. Yeah, they have thought about what they want. They've done a lot of soul searching, probably in some other areas of their life too, right? And they are overcoming obstacles and moving forward. We, we've seen that with this fight. They're fighting their way through. But I do think that you guys are moving in the same direction, parallel to one another. Six of Cups. Yeah, they want to they want to reconcile. We have the Six of Cups up here. This is, you know, your person, your soulmate. Reigniting the past. So here we have this Ace of Pentacles. It says, wise investment. Yeah, the Three of Cups. Reconciling with your person. Happiness. Reunion. And the nine of wands, you have, um, every card has different meanings. The nine of wands, um, a lot of times for me is, you know, you've really went through it, but you've stood your ground and you made it out the other side and you've left a light on for this person. You've held space, right? Held space for this person, this person that you want the 10 of cups with, right? That you want to reach out to. Um, this is your person. It's your destiny. You know that, right? Both people needing to get into this nine of pentacles energy where they're independent of another, of any other energy, um, wanting to get there quickly, having a strategy, making, you know, taking action because, because they miss their person Four of pentacles. Yeah. They're without like they're, you know, there's this loss, this scarcity, but they want to communicate here. Here you are Pisces wanting to communicate with your person coming in as the divine masculine there. Um, but there's some kind of um, five of swords situation that you need to that you need to take care of and have success in. Certainly could be a third party, right? A relationship to get out of. But you are manifesting a breakthrough so that you can have a new beginning, right? This breakthrough so that you can reconcile with your person. Slow but steady process, right? S slow pro process, progress. Could potentially be a Leo. But we've got Tower, Wheel of Fortune, okay? So there's going to be some divine intervention. The universe is going, to, is going to come in and make room for this connection. Now we all have free will. What people choose to do with it is up to them. But the energy is here. All right, Pisces, that is what I have for you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, um, if you would like to uh, book a personal reading, that information is in the description box. If you want to win a personal reading, I give away one a week. You're going to want to like, share, subscribe, and comment in the comment section below. Hashtag whatever you want to put there. Hashtag Pisces. Hashtag, hashtag Twin Flame. I don't care what you put there. All right. I'm sending you tons of love and light, and I will see you next time.